Hi, my name is Dr. David Rivera. I'm a national advisor with the STEE Fund, and I'm also an associate professor of counseling at Queens College in the City University of New York system. Thank you for taking some time out of your day to learn more about the Equity and Mental Health on Campus program sponsored and facilitated by the STEE Fund. Now, if you're not familiar with the STEE Fund, the STEE Fund is the nation's leading nonprofit focused on supporting the mental and emotional well-being of young people of color. The STEE Fund works with colleges and universities, young people, nonprofits, families, researchers, and mental health experts to promote programs and strategies that build understanding and assistance for mental and emotional health of the nation's young people of color. Our vision is pretty simple, but very extensive. Every student of color is fully supported with resources such as program services and institutional cultures that value and promote their mental health and well being. And that is what the Equity and Mental Health on Campus program is all about. It is about building an institution that truly understands and addresses the mental health and wellness needs of students of color, which essentially will cover all students on your campus. Now, our program is built off of the Equity and Mental Health Framework which is the first of its kind effort to provide practical expert recommendations and strategies to help colleges and universities take action to support mental health of students of color. The EMHF for short was created in concert and deep collaboration with the Jed Foundation and produced 10 empirically validated and developed recommendations and key implementation strategies for providing guidance for institutions on how to better center, understand, and address the mental health and wellness needs of their students of color. Now you can go to mental health, uh, uh, equityandmentalhealth.org to find out more information about these 10 recommendations, but they include recommendations like identifying and promoting the mental health and well-being of students of color as a campus-wide priority, um, engaging students in providing guidance and feedback on matters of student mental health and emotional wellness, we center students in this process. Actively recruit, retain, and promote culturally diverse, competent faculty and professional staff. Create opportunities to engage around national and international issues and events. Create dedicated roles to support well being and success of students of color support and promote accessible and safe communication with campus administration and an effective, and an effective bias response system, offer a range of supportive programs and services in varied pro, uh, formats, help students learn about programs and services by advertising them through multiple channels, identify and utilize culturally relevant and promising programs and practices, especially collecting data on their effectiveness, and participating in resource and information sharing both within the institution and equally important across institutions, which is what our program is designed to do. The Equity and Mental Health on Campus program um, is an initiative to guide and support institutions through a transformative process that makes mental health of students of color a campus-wide priority. Some of the additional benefits that campuses achieve by going through this process is connecting and collaborating with mental health experts, colleges and universities across the country, and working with people committed to sustaining long-term change on their campus. Now, we have a couple options for this cohort model of going through a program that is focused on helping the institution understand itself in terms of what it's currently doing to address and support the mental health wellness of students of color, assessing that, and then coming up with goals that can then be actionable within this time period. Now, our 12-month institutional commitment is focused on our needs assessment. So this, uh, pr this process involves coming up with the team, right? And so that's really important that each campus has a dedicated team focusing on various areas of the campus environment. So the team might include folks from traditional student affairs roles like residence life, counseling centers, and other areas that have very quick and close access to students and are often in, in 
in, uh, involved with students on a regular basis, but also includes folks from academic affairs, such as faculty, such as deans, uh, maybe even folks from the provost or president's office, um, institutional research. So those folks that are involved in designing the assessments that gauge the institution's effectiveness in a variety of areas, including campus climate, uh, folks from the diversity, equity, and inclusion arms of the, off of, of the institution, and academic departments. Now, once the team is assembled, they work closely together to go through a needs assessment that is highly guided and supported by uh, the STEE fund. And then we get into an action planning phase where we develop campus-specific, actionable, and measurable goals to address students' mental health and emotional well-being. There's also a community of action that's engaged where the uh, institutions go through this process via a cohort where they are engaging with other institutions um, who are working on a very similar goal, but from their own institutional perspectives. So this offers the institutions the great opportunity for inter-institutional sharing, something that we don't quite see so often in the world of higher education, but something that can greatly aid in our abilities to um, take forth these initiatives with actionable um, efforts. Now there's also an expanded 18 month institutional commitment. Very similar to the first in terms of focusing on the needs assessment, which is a very critical part of the program, but we also have an additional six months to work on the, the actual implementation of the goals that were achieved from the needs assessment. And then also gain, going through a process of evaluation and sustainability, uh, which is necessary um, in this ever-changing um, higher education world. Now, the needs assessment, just to give you a little bit more information about what that might look like, um, the objectives of that are to describe the historical and present-day campus context as it relates to students of color. We, rec we, we refer to this as the campus racial narrative. What is the history of people of color and how they've been either excluded or included on their present day campus. That history is crucial in terms of understanding where we got to in the present day. Understanding the perspective and experiences of students of color on campus, and then this customized and in, uh, needs assessment where our in-house team of researchers works in collaboration with your team to synthesize the data and come up with recommendations that match onto what the needs are for your unique campus environment. The uh, methodology for collecting this data is mixed methods. We look at quantitative data, and so we work with you in terms of sifting through the, the information that is currently available on your campus, maybe even going through national surveys, maybe connecting with the Healthy Mind study, uh, but we also collect qualitative data. We want to hear from the voices of students in particular what their day-to-day -day experience is on campus and how they experience the campus addressing their mental health and wellness needs. And so we get all this information, all this data, our researchers work in concert with your teams to develop these recommendations that we will then start to work on as our process continues together. There's also a big professional development component. You can actually think of this as whoever is a part of the team, not only working to address this extremely important topic and issue on campus that is addressing the wellness mental health needs of students of color, but they're also learning a process by which they can then replicate in the future for how to further this work. So there is a huge professional development win that the folks engaged in this process on your campus will be able to uh, enjoy um, as part of the, 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 the process. We'll also provide additional supports. Um, as we know, your students are currently in need. And so we have workshops designed for students to help students develop the, the skills and resources needed to address the isms, including racism, sexism, heterosexism, ableism, classism that they might experience on their campus. We also have seminars for leadership and faculty and staff on campus, such as um, capacity building and what folks can do to build their not only personal, but their uh, collective capacities for organizing and orchestrating this work. Some of the things that our participants have said, and I've served as a coach for many campuses, and these are very much in line with what my campus partners have reported within and after completion of the program. 
One is knowing that I have so many partners on campus. Now I have connections in terms of centering mental health and equity and inclusivity, inclusivity on campus. So establishing these partnerships is a critical win as part of this process. Because of the Steve Fund, we have more weight as to what we are trying to do. It takes patience and persistence and it has energized me. We know that this is a process that's likely gonna take longer than the time that we have working with you. But what we're hoping to do is to train everyone involved in this process so that they can then replicate it down the road. Again, sustainability is crucial in this process. Now, for more information, we encourage you to reach out to the Steve Fund. You can email emhc at stevefund.org. You can visit our website at stevefund.org and you'll be connected with our, our Steve Fund colleagues who can tell you more about this process and this program, and hopefully get you energized so that you will enter into this group of colleges and universities that are now having the experience of going through the Steve Fund's Equity and Mental Health on Campus program. Thank you for taking time to learn about it, and I hope to see you at some point down the road engaging in this very important and necessary work. Take care.